Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shanara Renee. And today we're going to be talking about my favorite primers right now, currently, to date. Um, I've been switching them around, trying different ones. So just to make sure that I have different ones. So I have mattifying primers, I have hydrating primers, I have pore filling primers. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my take on what is my favorite what is my least favorite what am i loving what am i not liking and things like that so if you are interested in how i think of these primers that i'm going to be telling and talking about stay tuned all right so here we go the first one is an odie but it is a goodie and i personally love it a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot and this is the fenty Fenty Beauty, I just, let me get the Pro, Pro Filter Primer, Retouch Frame Primer. I got this as a set when I bought the Fenty Beauty um, foundation. I think this is really, really good. Even if you don't use the foundation, it's really, really nice on, on my skin. Um, overall, my foundation laid beautifully. It was really, really nice. I didn't have any problems, any issues anything like that so I personally love this primer um, I've heard from other people though that this primer has changed its formula I'm not sure I got this when the Fenty Beauty when they launched their foundation it was like like two years ago like 2000 I have no idea but <laughs> good news is I got this is like the original foundation and primer formula so I don't know what they did to the other one I'm not sure but I do know this one is really really nice once I get done with this one I may buy the travel side just to see if, the, if it's the same thing as the, the as the new one so hopefully I don't know what people are saying but they are saying that it is different but I'll be the judge of that and I'll let you guys know but as of now go to and the really good thing about this one is you can mix this with anything you don't even have to worry about it and it's fine it's not a big deal so moving on i this is a new favorite of mine holy grail so good so nice it's also featured in the 21 um days of beauty so at ulta and this is Dun, dun, dun. This is the No Pore Problem Primer. So it's basically able to um, basically blur out all of your pores and things like that. It is so smooth. It's like a baby's bottom. It is so smooth. It glides right on. I never had any. My, when I put on my foundation, it never like slips or slides or moves around. It stays, girl. This is so good. It's so good. You guys should definitely try it. If you haven't tried it, I would most definitely believe that you guys should um at least go ahead and buy it and purchase it for the 21 days of beauty um it's coming up very soon when this would be available so i will most definitely go ahead and buy that i love it it's my holy grail i don't even have anything to i don't even have any words but it's really really good and i think that you guys should most definitely use that it's it's good period also, in addition, um, this is something that's a little bit more affordable. Um, I know sometimes people, I mean, paying $20 and up for a primer does sound ridiculous. So I do have something that is within the price range. And this is the Maybelline Master Prime um, Primer Base Hydrate and Smooth Primer. This one costs, I believe, like around, I would say from 5 to $8. So it's very, 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 very cheap. I usually go ahead and use these two together. So this is the hydrating primer plus the hydrating. Um, this is the Dewy Maybelline Fit Me, which I'm actually currently using. Really, really good drug drugstore products. I mean, this is combination. You're not spending anywhere near $20. You can't go wrong with that at all. So I would most definitely use that. They have other ones too. They have one that's hydrating one that controls redness they have one that helps you with your pores and they also have one that's probably like a mattifying primer so they have different types so whatever your skin 
type is, I would definitely use the primer that is associated with that. I like it. I like it a lot. Period. The ne then these next two are basically ones that I'm trying out for this month. And I think I'm going to be trying out these for, you know, until I'm done with these and I'm in their empty. So, one of them is, the, they're, well, they're both travel size. So, before I purchase anything, I always use the travel size. I'm not going to sit there and purchase a full product and then come to find out I don't like it. Um, this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I actually like this. This one and this one may start being becoming my favorite, my top favorite. I like it a lot. Um, it's interesting and I never really had that tacky feeling on. I'm still using it. I'm still testing it out. So I don't really have like a clear decision if I'm liking it, if I'm loving it, if I'm hating it, if I, you know, I don't really have a clear decision. But what I am thinking is by the end of April, I want to do an updated version of my foundations and my concealers and also my primers to let you guys know how I am feeling about this product. So I'm still using it. By the end of April, this should be done. And then that way I can decide if I'm going to buy the full size or if I'm just going to sit there and call it, you know, take that L, catch it, and live with it. <laughs> All right. So next is, this one is expensive, girl. The full size of, this is the Tatcha. I don't even know if you guys could see this. But this is the Tatcha, um, the Silk Canvas mini size. This is $20. The full one is $52. Yes, you, you heard. $52. And it really, really pains me to, like, say this. But I like it. Like, don't get me wrong. It's really nice in texture. The only thing is it does leave a white cast on my face I only put a little bit you know and it's nice but is it worth $52 I don't know I'm, I'm still debating I haven't really picked this one up besides the ones I've really been picking up is the milk hydro grip and also of course my no pore pro no pore plum primer hey I got myself and um those are the only two I've been recently really really digging and really liking um the tatcha i have really been using like, sometimes i have to force myself and say hey let's go ahead and you know use a different primer and then i'll go to, to this one which says a lot i don't know if it's worth 52 dollars to be honest i mean maybe if i got it for free great awesome but am i gonna sit there and purchase a 52 dollar primer mm, sis i don't know you know so, um, that's just something that I am thinking about and considering, but, you know, I haven't really, it's not something that I'm currently going to think about getting right now. So, you know, but we'll see. And also, before I go ahead and leave, there is one more that I really, this is not a primer, but it kind of fits into a kind of not really but I really wanted to talk about this BB cream because I have been on the hunt for BB cream and I wanted to let you guys know that um, the, the company is called Black Radiance um, I believe you know they're a company that targets dark-skinned women and I think that is very important that we talk about you know brands that are stepping up and that are coming out with something that is really really nice and something that we need so I really want to talk about this and this is the black radiance BB cream I have it in the color Caf cafe and they have like four four or five different shades for um for us they have like chocolate or mocha they have different types of you know colors for for us people of, of my complexion and the reason why is because it is becoming spring and summer and I live in the Inland Empire in California and it is not a nice summer out here and not a nice spring we're talking about 90s and 100 degree weather so so sometimes it is difficult to wear a full-on foundation concealer powder it's, it's hard to do it even if you use like a really mattifying primer I mean a mattifying um, powder excuse me so 
it really is nice that I have found a BB cream and I got this at Target for $4.99 normally I have been on a hunt for BB cream if you guys I haven't really shared this with with you guys but I have been on a hunt I tried the NARS I tried the it cosmetics and I also tried the milk um, skin tint they all were nice but they basically made me lose my color in my face and I didn't like that so kind of had like this white gray cast over me that are and when I took it off it was like my skin came back to life with the color so that's the only thing that I didn't necessarily care for I really didn't like um, overall though they were nice but for the price I wanted something like for the ACOF cosmetics I wanted something for the price something a little bit more better than what they offered with the white cast um, milk unfortunately had the white cast Laura Mercier was really good um, because I have really I have smile lines right here and they are very defined I tried everything girl nothing can erase these lines but the Laura Mercier one it really helped with the lines however I mean it's almost fifty dollars and I still have that gray white cast over I wasn't really feeling it so this one $4.99 is five dollars I got it at Target for you guys of darker complexion this may be something that you want to try out I'm still testing it out um, I have sensitive skin however so this I did notice a little bit of bumps so you know I'm still gonna see if it was this or if it was one of my primers or something of that nature because I do have sensitive skin so I'm still gonna play with this I'm still gonna let you know how I feel about it but other than that that's it it's a wrap <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so silly but anyway you guys that's really it I just wanted to, to tell you guys what I am currently using again at the end of April we're gonna do an updated video of how I felt about this my next video in the future though, I'm thinking about doing a tutorial um, of like basically my everyday, my everyday makeup foundation base routine. Let me know how you guys feel about that. I'm waiting on a day where I have time. A lot of times I like to sleep so I wake up, I don't really do my makeup when I go to work or I wake up and I'm doing my makeup but I just don't have time to do a tutorial because it actually takes time for you to sit there and sometimes you're rushing and then you're trying to talk and you're trying to like it, it's a lot going on so it's better that I you know make sure that I have time so I'm thinking about doing that shortly um, very very soon I really am trying to get into like a routine and like a, a movement of having my videos more consistent it really is difficult um, I do work a full-time job during the day and at night I'm just so exhausted and then on top of that um, I am in the process of getting better lights better lighting so I don't look as washed out I don't look as like kind of like a I just I want to be true to my color which is why I prefer doing a lot of my videos in the morning time when the sun's right glaring in, in my window and I don't have to use all these different lights because it just makes everything look better but anyway enough of me raveling go ahead drop what you're doing comment on this video like this video subscribe to my channel subscribe 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 and I will see you guys Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm retarded. <laughs>